What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Stein checking in with you on a Saturday afternoon here in an absolutely beautiful Houston afternoon. A little bit chilly in the morning, but hey, it is gorgeous outside. And it's Saturday, so we're doing the family barbecue, um, you know, doing that whole thing. And then, you know, Amazon Prime and chill tonight, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, so... I saw a video, and it's something I already kind of knew about, but it's something worth discussing. Now, one of my favorite movies, and I actually probably watch it like every two months, uh, is The Big Short. And it's actually really well explained. They explained the housing bubble back in 2007, 2008 very, very well in terms of how uh, the different investment firms and bankers were able to profit off of it. Well, the main character, well, one of the main characters, Dr. Burry, uh, Dr. Michael Burry, um, dude's a little freaking, he's a little out there. You know, he's a little crazy. And the depiction uh, that Christian Bale did of him was actually pretty on point. This guy is, he's a little oddball, but he's smart. He's super smart. He was the first one that hopped on that short. Now, He's called for shorting Tesla. He's called for shorting other uh, stocks um, that you wouldn't necessarily think, but this dude stays ahead of his time. So when he's talking about shorting Tesla, maybe not tomorrow, but next month, and you're holding some long-term uh, freaking uh, uh, options on it, call options on it, long dated, you're done. I mean, you're done. You better be able to hop on those shorts as quickly as possible. But I don't know. I don't know. But Tesla, I have my reasons not to necessarily believe in it. But at the same time, it's got that cult-like following. Anyways, so you got certain gover governors, senators, Republicans, whatnot. You know, uh, Democrats, I don't know. So people, people in the government that hold uh, government uh, offices. And they're all for it. The democratization, the democratization of uh, online um, stock trading is, they say, is a good thing because it allows everyday people, uh, retail investors, uh, to to trade in the stock market. And when you have apps like Robinhood, and I'm not saying anything new. This is all stuff that I hope you already know. But it's like a little video game. You know, it's like Candy Crush. You know what I'm saying? And then they tell you what stock to buy. You buy it, and then you make money on it, and they think it's simple. They have no idea what a fundamental is. They have no idea what a support and resistance level is. You see what I'm saying? So he was warning about that being a bubble. And dude made just an exuberant amount of money off the GameStop. Uh, I don't even think he shorted it. I think he just played it. And just absolutely crushed everything. Um, but he also is concerned with the bubbles and the valuations. His trading style is, uh, he's a value investor, similar to what you would say, like Warren Buff Buffett. You know, he doesn't necessarily buy and trade, he, buy and, he buys and holds. So a lot of his uh, positions are actually like smaller companies that aren't very well known or certainly not talked about. Um, and he plans on holding them, but when he sees opportunities to short or to make quick money, he will, and his fund has enough liquid assets to where they can do that. Um, now, again, his, his big concern, as I understand, is, uh, is the valuations, that our stocks are so overvalued. Uh, look at Facebook, look at Apple. I mean, all of them versus their P&E and their market caps, it doesn't add up at all. So for his investment portfolio, um, it, it, it doesn't, it's not good for him. And the, uh, the concern of hyperinflation, which again, if you've been paying attention, um, is a big deal. Uh, it, they're pumping money into the system to try to help uh, control that yield, that especially that 10-year yield. So uh, there's a lot of issues going on that he's talking about that's not just him, it's a lot of other people too. Now, his Twitter is gone. He turned it off. He left a couple other little messages because they'd been harassing him for a long time. In fact, after 2009, the, uh, the, the government audited him like multiple times. So they know he's 
basically a Wall Street whistleblower. And the SEC showed up at his office and literally pretty much like threatened him. You know, I mean, I don't know the details of what was said and what was not said, but they, they came in and intimidated him to start, you know, monitoring his tweets and what he says. OK, that 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 is the government coming in and saying, hey, you're not along. You're not allowed to talk about the potential of hyperinflation and, and overvaluation of stocks and bubbles that may or may not occur, you know, because you could be spoofing the market. Uh, but Reddit's fine. Reddit's totally cool. Governors, senators, freaking Congress people, mayors. No, democratization of retail investors is great. Get on Robin Hood and, 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 and gamble your money away. Don't listen to a professional freaking doctor, Michael Burry. So the SEC doesn't want that. They don't want him out there talking. No way. No, 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 no. No, play your little online freaking gambling game. They, yeah, they did that. Um, so he officially took his Twitter down. He left one last message in Vietnamese that translated into something along the lines of, uh, you know where I stand on this and I have nothing more to say, which I get it given his candor and what they're doing to him. Like it's no longer like it's a headache to him. It's a distraction. So, um, you know, my question now is who, who's next? Who's next? So a lot of the information I got from this is a, a channel that I subscribe to. I recommend you well. It's the Silver Report Uncut. Um, it, it, it's a little dry, but at the same time, the guy is very factual and very easy to listen to. So Silver Report Uncut. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description. But um, he breaks it down pretty well. And um, yeah, like I said, Mike Burr, uh, Dr. Mike Burry is... He's done. He's stepping back. So any predictions he's recently made, you might want to study them and uh, try to be as try to utilize as much foresight as possible. Anyways, guys, that's all I have. It's Saturday. Like I said, I'm barbecuing it up, so I'm not going to put anything else out there unless I have to. Anyways, guys, much love. Enjoy your weekend. I'll holla at you later.